my approach to teaching is actually very grounded in mentorship. I see the relationship with students as a conversation with a whole person. So rather than the sage on the stage who is imparting wisdom I and knowledge, um, I much more conceive of it as a conversation where I learn from my students, which I always do, and I you know, teach them and they learn from me. To talk about my teaching philosophy of my style, um, I have to mention first that I start teaching when I was just 21. So in my first class in Brazil, I had no one in my class that was younger than me. Although I'm now an old man, I, I kind of try to identify with them and, and, uh, and have an attitude that is more uh, kind of their style. I try to only uh, come into class with uh, questions that I don't have the answers to. Um, and um, I let them know I don't have the answers to it. And I ask them what the answers are. Uh, and that's, you know, that kind of um, rich dialogue. I try to deal with questions that are, that are pretty large and important. To keep teaching and um, the content and, and even style fresh and innovative over time is, is just by being curious. I think really allowing myself to incorporate what I'm studying at a scholarly level with what I'm teaching and to see the marriage of the two. You have to be very connected with current affairs, of course, to see how it reflects in the material that you are, you are teaching, but also uh, how the industry is changing. So e even if you keep the same structure, the same, um, the same format, uh, you have to keep putting new, th new things there to make it more relevant. I think teachers all learn from teachers and I just had some, I had some wonderful teachers in my past and uh, you know, I, I, try to, I try to honor the, the memory that, that I have of them. Uh, most of them are, are, are long since departed, uh, but uh, they live within me and uh, you know, I, uh, I, I try to honor them uh, when I walk into the classroom. Inspiration in part is my students, is their uh... The, what they respond to and the things that get them excited or the things that they don't respond well to also tells me something. So it's, um, it's, it's really kind of an evolving mode of inspiration. Give students space to innovate and not, don't be in the way uh, to, to you know, come with things of the past that, that may have been working for decades but not working now. Don't be afraid to fail, to try new things because some things are going to work, some things aren't going to work and that's part of what makes teaching so fun is somewhat of a laboratory for this ongoing, dynamic, evolving conversation. The most important thing is uh, to show students respect. Um, you know, they're, they're 20 years old, and so they're still young. They're still figuring out life. And if you, if you, if you show them that you're, you're with them and you trust them at this point, uh, I think it goes a long way.